Hey there, fellows. Okay, so you remember this wonderful jalopy, right? The one we fitted with double suspension. It was all good until we discovered a few minor issues. They're not catastrophic by any means, but... The main problem was that a stock Lada engine didn't have enough power for us to... have some proper fun. Anyway, so recently we put together a truly marvelous engine. Now, you remember... the so-called Lada JZ? It's basically two pieces of Lada engine fused into a single inline six. We, of course, fired it up, and it was even able to run quite nicely. But now it's time for the real test. See what the power is like, how it behaves. I mean, adding a couple of cylinders, turning the engine into an inline six has to have made for some power gains. And since we've dubbed it the Lod JZ, naturally it needs to be fitted to a Lada. We've decided to pick this lovely example that's riding on a trick suspension setup. Okay, why don't we go ahead and piece it all together and do some testing? Okay, let's do this. Okay, so the holiday season is over. But for our fan base, we want the holidays to continue. And so we've prepared a new present for you. Everybody who spends a hundred dollars or more in our shop is gonna receive a special little surprise from me personally. It could be a video message for you or a friend, my autograph on a t-shirt or a hoodie, or an autographed postcard. Make sure to specify what you want in the order form. Always in stock we have sick looking hoodies, stylish hats, t-shirts, caps, mugs, stickers, key fobs, as well as accessories for your cars. Plus, we are always cooking up new merch ideas, so treat yourself or someone close to some Garage 54 goodness. Hit the link in the description, spend $100 or more, and get a nice little personalized bonus. Make sure to use the code GARAGE100, good for a solid discount. We test our Lod JZ in Line 6 in a car, translation and voiceover by BMI Russian. Okay, we seem to be looking good, so check this out. The Lod JZ is sitting in the bay on the factory mounting points, though the radiator is located way further out compared to the factory position. Oh, we forgot to bolt it down on this side, but no worries, I guess. I don't think it's gonna break off. Right, so now is the time to conduct some... well, preliminary testing, but we also need to see... whether it's even able to make more power because the stock Lada motor had a lot of trouble getting these enormous wheels to rotate. Now, in order to get a better understanding, we've decided to mount a smaller set of wheels in the back. I mean, they're not pint-sized, but they are considerably lighter, and they should help us answer the question of whether we've gained any power. We really need to remove that ape from the trunk. Okay, everything is ready, we're looking good. Now it's time to do some testing. The first drive ended in failure. Okay, here's the situation. We don't seem to have any power gains. Well, obviously, when you're welding two blocks together. So, unfortunately, it appears that we have coolant contaminating the motor oil. As soon as we got moving, we saw a fountain burst from out of the radiator. Which is very unfortunate. When you blow a head gasket, well, obviously your car starts to overheat, the heater stops working and so on, and all of that is caused by gases finding their way into the cooling system. So when the piston is compressing the mixture, you get a blow-by from the cylinders, which in turn pushes the coolant out from the system. I mean, you cannot have gases in the cooling system together with liquid, especially when they're under such high pressure. It's gonna push all of the coolant right out. Hey, well, we have to fix it somehow. It is an inline six, so it's gotta have quite a bit of power. I mean, yeah, it is to a lot of engines, but I still expect it to rip. Okay, time to work some magic and set things straight. I feel like it has a lot of potential, and that's always a good thing. So let us proceed to tear it apart. Resurface the head, assemble it, tweak the ignition, fire it up, and that's when I reckon we'll be able to realize the full potential of this Lada-based inline-six. 
<laughs> our lot of based inline six engine. All right, let's do this. Okay, we are slowly but surely getting there. We just had the block resurfaced, then we gave the cylinder head the same treatment. So it's all nice and even. Okay, so now what? Well, we assemble it, obviously. We are currently in the process. Now I can see a bit of sealant. You'll find a bunch of that in a lot of engine. Well, among others. Okay, now it's time to remove this. Put it back into place. And, well, once we do that, we'll run into a couple of new issues. We'll be doing a ritual dance. Yeah, with a bongo drum, horns, and everything else in between. Anyway, so we need to fire it up and get it to run properly. Not like it was the first time, when it was firing on either four, five, or all six cylinders. We need all six cylinders to fire consistently. Okay, I don't want to bring us all down, so suffice to say that the lot JZ is going to work no matter what. Either that or it'll seize. We doing this? Check this out, fellas. So after we tore the engine apart, resurfaced what we needed to, and threw it all back together, the ignition we decided to leave alone. So it's just as it used to be. Anyway, my point is that it started, and now it works like a charm. And that's very nice. No longer do we have any coolant or motor oil getting into the cylinders like we did before. And that is very nice to know. So it appears that the car is ready. Awesome, let's bring it outside. And go full throttle. See what comes out of it. Let's go! Mm, the power! Right, I almost forgot that the wheels are set so far apart. Already we have wheel spin. Even when you apply just a little bit of throttle, it already starts to spin the wheels. I like that. I am definitely not getting through there. Should we warm it up or just drive? Just keep the revs up while you're on the way there. Yeah, okay. Well, we're moving. Wow, I really gotta be careful driving between these cars. All right, fantastic. Wonderful. Excellent. Well, it feels way stronger than it used to. I don't even have to push the clutch in or anything. Now, what if I stop? Yeah, it moves even when you... slightly touch the gas. Tremendous. Great! Great! 
Now, I do not want to drive through those ruts. Time to back up. Yeah, this is much better. It feels much more eager to accelerate. But I still feel that we're a bit down on power. What's wrong? I mean, it revs up quick enough. Come on, come on. Okay, it's moving. Before it couldn't scoot like this. Instead, it would stall. Seems like we've done something right. With the resurfacing and so on. We are looking good, huh? There we go. I'm not gonna say that it's... that it's on par with... a proper... in line 6. But it does... feel much stronger than it used to. This is much better. A bit of wheel spin. That's good. That's very good. It works. So only the front brakes work, but no worries. And as far as I can tell, the cooling system is overwhelmed. Yeah, we could use some better cooling. What's up? Okay, so we have insufficient cooling. Should have used a bigger radiator. Now, of course, this ain't no four banger. The throttle response is quite a bit better. Oh, start, William. What's the problem, Sergey? Okay, here we go. This is brilliant. See that? It can do a pretty decent launch. I just drop the clutch, and it goes. Because before, it couldn't even rev up this high. It was severely lacking power. Wheel spin all the way while I'm backing up. There we are. Very nice. Okay, here I am, performing a discount burnout. We should have thrown on the Michelins for a bit more grip. That's some spinny action. And now let's try driving out. There we go. Fantastic. Oh no, the poor thing is overheating. 
I should switch it off before it gets critical. We've got coolant escaping from the system. So the radiator and the cooling system volume are simply lacking when paired to an inline 6. Look at it spewing out. But at the end of the day, the engine works. I'd even go so far as to say the results are excellent. This lotta based inline 6... I mean, yeah, it works. Though I wouldn't say the gains are spectacular. But they are definitely there. You'd recall that on this setup, the... Normal four-cylinder Lada engine was unable to spin the rear wheels, period. This engine intermittently running on four, five, six cylinders at least tried to get them unstuck. But it took some resurfacing and proper assembly to get it running smoothly and to really increase the power. When I was dropping the clutch, the wheels would spin. But once they found grip... Even the inline 6 was struggling. We are running a welded diff after all. Not to mention all of this, with the suspension conversion. Of course that's going to make the car more difficult to lug around. And put quite a bit of stress onto the engine. But at the end of the day, we were able to make the lot JZ run. Sweet. Not quite the results we were expecting, but... Still pretty cool. What is it with you? You underaged hooligan. And so that's all I got for you, fellas. We're looking at a 107% success rate here. I really like this engine, how it works and everything. You should also give it a shot. Who knows, you might also make it work. Anyway, that's all I got for you. Watch us, subscribe, send in your suggestions, comment, give us a big thumbs up. All right, catch you later. We need to figure out how to get back. It doesn't fit the groove or through the gate. What are we gonna do? Well, let's try something.